Hi guys, welcome back. I'm David and this is Courtney and today is a very special day for us both. It's Saturday, May 15th, 2021 and it's the first time we're putting in some real work here on our new property. And eventually, if you saw our last video, we will be blogging, vlogging I guess you would say, the entire build of our new home on this site. doing today is addressing some water issues that we have on the road leading up to the home site and also as you can see behind us disposing of some of the dead wood and the brush surrounding our home site. When this property was logged about 10 years ago they didn't do a super good job of cleaning up after themselves and I'm guessing there's probably 500 at least, at least. 500 <laughs> trees um, that they took out but did not remove completely. Uh, when logging this property. It should be an exciting day. Hopefully we keep the fire under control. <laughs> yeah, we pulled a, we had to pull a burn permit in the specific county that we're at. And I would imagine this burning would go on for at least two, three weekends, Saturday and Sunday both. Um, we're not gonna try to completely clean up the property because that's gonna take us years, I guess. Um, but it's a good start nonetheless. Yeah, we need to at least get rid of the piles that are right here immediately surrounding the home site um, to be able to get the trucks up here to work. And also, you know, it's spring is in full bloom and we don't want any yeah. kind of creatures popping out at us while we're while it's, we're working on the house. It's quickly becoming it's quickly getting out of control as things start to uh, bloom. Um, and Courtney will plug a little video here. We actually came up here just to see what kind of topography was beneath this, uh, the brush that was here um, before. I guess you could say we were just exploring a little bit. And right where the machine is at now, we moved a couple logs and a little baby bear, maybe only about five pounds or so, came out and opened his eyes up for the first time. I would guess the bear was maybe a few days old at most. Um, but we put up a game camera and the mother came back and got the baby. So uh, we're happy about that. And we can continue removing the brush over there. So of course we run out of gas while we're uh, burning all this wood. So David is trying to round up a uh, leaf blower to help get the, get the fire going again. Um, but there are some pretty cool flowers and plants and things around here uh, that I wanted to show you guys. So I am not an expert at identifying plants, but I did recently get an app on my phone that helps me identify some of these things, which has been pretty cool coming out here and, uh, you know, learning a little bit of what's out here. So apparently these are large white trilliums. I think they're awesome. And there's a whole patch of them sort of right here by a little trail that goes up the mountain a little further.
<laughs> I think that'll do it. So we're out here on day two. We clearly did not get as much burned as we were hoping to, but we're gonna have another go at it today. We did get a lot of work done on the road, which I'll show you in a minute. All right guys, so what we're doing here is we, uh, we have a few spring heads here. It was kind of uh, going across the road wherever it wanted to. Actually, when we first bought this, it was going all the way down the road, the water. So we've addressed that. We built a little ditch here and put a road pipe here. And um, this particular section of road is a little too steep for us. So we're gonna cut this down as much as we can to make it a little more gradual. And that's what he's doing now um, on the excavator. As you can see, this is extremely rocky terrain and he's wrestling with some boulders right now. So what's your plan of action for lighting all this wood on fire? Got to throw diesel on the hood and then light it with a lighter. Why'd you buy the discount diesel? <laughs> Damn, Cecil's a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to drive up here finally. Does it feel good, Lulu? Of course, the four-wheeler felt great after walking this a hundred times with a machete, but this feels much better. See, this is gonna be a problem right there. Unless we could do a concrete there or something. So are you freaking out? You wanted to run up here? <laughs> This is pretty cool. My little street truck. 
street tires on it can get up here. That's a pretty good sign. So we're out here today with our buddy Andrew. We're doing some uh, limb removal so we can get the concrete trucks up here. Our neighbor Andy came to the rescue with the excavator, make our life a little easier. The cigar is classic. I, <laughs> it's like you're riding in style, man. <laughs> Christmasy. Hey, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Popper's Farm. Cloud, what is it? You're gonna talk to me and I'll just be back. Cloudbird Farm. Cloudbird Farm. Check out Cloudbird Farms on YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, we're out here again. It's day four of our build. It's Saturday, May 22nd. And just thought I would do my best to catch you up so far, what we've gotten done, which I think is a lot. Um, so last weekend was our first weekend here and we brought an excavator and we primarily moved and burned a bunch of brush from our future home site. And then while we were burning, we took the excavator up and down the road and removed any obstacles or boulders or whatever we found that was in the way. Uh, so we did a bunch of rough grading and a bunch of rough road shaping and some ditch shaping as well. This weekend, we have brought an excavator and a bulldozer up here to start shaping the road. Basically, we decided to crown the road and add ditches on both sides. And we went ahead and spent a little extra money now and got 10 20 foot uh, 12 inch HDPE pipes to divert the water out of the ditches. Um, the biggest problem about building a road on this type of mountainous terrain is the velocity of the water. And we want to do our best to take extra precaution now and slow the water down and build the road as good as we possibly can. So we ditch both sides, like I said earlier, and we're going to add rock, which we have plenty of along the ditches to slow the water down. Still a lot to do. I think we got four pipes in today out of 10 which is a good start, but we still have uh, quite a bit. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what we've gotten so far. Yeah, uh, next time we come out here, we're gonna be doing some more tree removal. Um, uh, we're gonna be doing quite a bit up here. There's a 
gorgeous mountain view uh, right behind us, uh, which I'll throw in a drone shot and show you guys the view we're kind of aiming for. Um, continuing the road work, maybe even some gravel. If we're lucky. <laughs> Long awaited gravel. <laughs> yeah, really one of the biggest expenses of this project, actually the biggest expense of this project is the road. And actually it goes further than that because she has a two wheel drive car at the moment. <laughs> and we're gonna it's have to get her. It's on its last leg. <laughs> yeah, it, she's gotten her money's worth. Not that you couldn't get up here with two wheel drive. I think it would just be better and wiser just to go ahead and bite the bullet and get a four wheel drive vehicle. Uh, the second biggest expense is the solar, or if we didn't do solar, the second biggest expense would definitely be the utilities. Um, the power company wanted 32 grand. If we trench a mile long trench 30 inches deep, through rock, they wanted thirty-two thousand to throw a cable in the trench, and then, and then we, we have to cover bury it. Back up. Yeah, and then month, you know, thirty days later, we get our first bill that will continue till we die. So we thought it was um, probably smarter to go with solar on this build, which I'm actually looking forward forward to. I'm excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of bills. Um, yeah, between no. all of our construction sites and our shop and our apartment we live in now, we have, you know, four or five electric bills every month and um, one less would be a blessing. So, Definitely. But uh, it's going to be a fun build. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited. I love coming out here. It's, it's super it's a, peaceful. It's very, very peaceful. Beautiful. Um, it's like a jungle right now, but um, it's uh, pretty amazing up here. Tell them about the first time we came up. The very first time we yeah. came up? It was snowing the first time we came up. Um, on a Sunday. Snowing on a Sunday. It was so funny. David, I guess, woke up early looking at land for sale. And, early um, to me means 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Usually. Yeah. So I, I get up to make some coffee and David's ready to go look at some land. First of all, big <laughs> shout out to our real estate agent. David came out on a Sunday in a snowstorm <laughs> to walk us a mile up into the woods uh, through briars and mud. Yeah, I, you know, I really wish I had more footage of what it looked like when we first saw it, because to look at the road now, so much work has been done. Yes. It was, I mean, machete slinging, ducking through the briars. You pretty much um, had to crawl through it. The water frozen over on all parts of the road, which th those pipes are going to help yeah. not <laughs> make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, so it's, it's kind of amazing to see it now to be able to just drive. I mean, we got your truck up here. The yeah, other day. E easy drive in the truck. No, no major hurdles or bumps or it's smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, to, to see it just a couple months ago versus now is it's really got us excited. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so I guess that's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned on the next one. We'll be, like we said, clearing some trees out, opening up our beautiful view and maybe even putting some gravel on the road. So thanks for watching. Thanks guys. See ya.